I'm uh, Dave Kearney, owner of the wine bin in historic Ellicott City. This is the original firehouse of Ellicott City, built in 1939. It was a firehouse until I think the late 90s, and then it was uh, sold off and sat empty for a few years. Well, we have a ghost, uh, Shipley, Captain Shipley of the firehouse. And uh, when we first took over the building, we we're in renovating and there's this whole group of uh, people standing outside and we're like, what is going on? And we found out that we were on the ghost tour and uh, we laughed it off thinking, yeah, right, a ghost. And uh, slowly, uh, little things have happened throughout the years with us uh, being here to make us all believe that Shipley actually exists. One uh, Thanksgiving morning, I had a couple customers and I'm working with them and selling wine and I grabbed the last wine out of a, out of a wooden wine box in our display and uh, it was the last customer. No one else was in the store. I carried the wine out to her car. I came back in, took a deep breath and realized I need to go stock this wine. So I ran in the back room, grabbed a case, came out and sitting in the middle of that box was a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc from the front part of the store. And my first thought was, okay, what customer moved this wine? And then I realized there was never a customer in the store after this point and I was with that last customer. So I'm like, maybe it's Shipley moving my wine. Once or twice a month, I would come in and there would be this weird bottle of wine sitting somewhere with a bottle of scotch or something. So I mentioned it to one of our ghost tour um, tellers and I said, what do you think? And she said, well, maybe you should talk to him. So I started talking to him and said good morning to him and said good night and told him, please don't move anything. And from that point, we've had no wine out of place. My favorite story, which actually freaked me out the most, was uh, one Saturday night um, after our summer movie series, we, we all went back to my house um, to grill. It was about 11 o'clock at night and one of the staff comes up from DC and he left his overnight bag in the office and he asked me to run back to, to grab it. So it was about 11.30 in the evening and I came back to the store really fast. I ran in the door, ran to the back into the office area and as I was passing, I just happened to grab the closet door where we keep our little safe lock. As I grabbed it, the door was unlocked, and when I opened the door, the air pressure in the building moved, and it, it felt as if all the doors in the building just opened. I uh, locked the closet door and uh, went home, and as I was telling the story, um, Sean, who had locked up that night, said, I locked the closet door, and I said, well, the closet door was unlocked, the light was on uh, in the closet, and he goes, I shut the light off. So I had shut the light off, locked the door. The next morning I came in, I unlocked the closet door and the light was back on and sitting in front of our safe was an empty pint glass uh, that wasn't there the night before. So that, that was extremely freaky. So Chloe, my store dog, uh, for the first five years of business, used to be here every day and she would sit around in the store and uh, two or three times she would stand here in the corner at, on this rug and she would look at the, f the front door and you'd see her head just totally following someone all the way to the back of the store. And then once she hit the back of the store, she stopped, she got up, shook her head, and went over and laid in her chair. Recently, actually, our, um, one of our owner's grandson um, comes to our Saturday Night Movies, um, and he was standing in the hallway talking. Um, and they, kept, they asked him, who are you talking to? He goes, I'm talking to the ghost. And he turned around and said, goodbye, Mr. Ghost, and walked out. And he's done this two or three times. And every time we ask him, where's the ghost? He walks to a certain section by the safe and points to him and says, the ghost is right there, and then just walks away. One uh, Midnight Madness, which, it, which is the first Friday of December when all the stores stay open until midnight, and I had a, a group of friends just hanging out in the back. Some, I call her the crazy woman, walks in the back door and says, you have a spirit and he's standing right here. And I said, oh, that's Shipley. And so all my friends all night long were taunting him. Hey, Shipley, come out, Shipley, make yourself known. Hey, Shipley, what are you doing? You want some champagne, Shipley? And they were just taunting and teasing him for hours. And uh, come midnight, we start closing up the store. Everyone's leaving. And uh, in the front corner of the store, we had a little table set up. And a few people were standing at the counter, and the table tipped over just by itself. And everyone screamed. And we're like, OK, well, Shipley's a little pissed off that we were teasing him. He learned a lesson. Be nice to him. <laughs>